about Clarence Healing Arts? Well, it started with me focusing on creating more, putting my grief and my pain into my art, and now it's just happy energy and, you know, um, also teaching has been a huge part of my healing. Tell me about your classes. I love teaching. I have small groups, three, four girls come over. Lately I've had a couple guys come, which has been really great. We need some masculine energy in here as well. And I think it's so important to create your own art so that you have something personal in your home that, you know, you create. I created something for my mom many years ago and she just loved it. And I used photographs from when they were married and photo of me and my brother and family and just made it, you know, a unique personal piece of art. So I encourage my students to create and to share their art, you know, with family and because you do get kind of lost in the work. So do you get attached to your pictures? Sometimes I do, yeah. but then when I let them go, I'm so happy to share and, you know, it's just a good feeling. You know, I'm in a different space in my life than I was when I created that. So it'll be a different feeling, or it'll be a little different. But I'm sure it'll help something from that in a new piece. You've also mixed, done mixed media with wood, too. Oh, I love working with wood. Beautiful. And you've done painting on wood. Tell me a little bit about that. I like wood because I can remove, I can add texture, I can sand. And lately, I've discovered power tools. You know, every time I meet you, every time, even I see you on Facebook, and it's just like, there's this great light coming from you. Oh. And you're so full of love and so full of fun. So how do you get started? Do you feel your love of what you do shows so clearly in it? So what gets you started? I'm excited about color. Mm -hmm. And I paint with colors that excite me, colors that move me. Like I love orange and blues and yellows. Those are my favorite colors, especially for painting. And of course, I love wearing blue. And I'm a blues kind of girl. So I get excited about color because it inspires me. And I figure if it inspires me and it lifts me up when I create, it will move others as well. So if you do what you love, others will feel it. It's what art has taught me yeah. is patience. Yeah. Patience. Slow down. Slow down. Listen. So it's really interesting that you are so in tune with your intuition, and I'm learning to do that more these days. What I learned recently is, when we go through loss, we also gain something. Yes. And I think I gained myself. I found myself, like you said, and I found the real me. Yes. But it has taken a few years also. It takes time. Everybody is on their own path, their own time, and I think I'm more emotionally available. Mm -hmm. I'm more connected with my emotions, and perhaps that's what you were referring to earlier. Yeah. 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 I'm more open. Absolutely. I'm open to receive love, and I'm also open to give love. Oh, of course. <laughs>